Hello everyone, we're back here with Anushka and Hello. from Balance Psychologies and I'm going to link her channel below. She's getting her PhD in psychology in a few months. I wish. No, yes, in a year. <laughs> Alright, yes, in a few months, no, in like a year. A year? I'll be finishing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she specializes in this and she knows a lot, so I'm thrilled to be here in England, in Leamington Spa, where she she works. <laughs> and oh, yeah, it's the, a pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure. As a home base of violent psychology? It is, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. I wanted to ask Anushka about inflammation and cortisol and all that because I felt mm. <laughs> like I gained weight and I wasn't you know eating yeah. more particularly so yes. and yeah like I was an aging and all that yes narcissistic abuse um, it does it does ruin your health whichever way um, you want to look at it the reason why um, we feel like this or I say this is because with, with when you're a victim of mm. emotional or psychological abuse, um, you are going to naturally be stressed or very anxious, depressed, um, and traumatized. And with all of with all of those um, labels or all those feelings that you go through, um, you you are going to feel like you're not yourself. Your body is going to be in survival mode, actually. And when you are in survival mode, that's what, exactly what you're doing. You're just surviving in this moment, and this isn't a way of living. It's not healthy. Um, you know, certain organs in your body become um, over overstressed, overused. For example, a lot of people say that they experience adrenal fatigue. Um, they, there's, their immune system goes down. Um, your gut, um, your gut health is is affected so badly as well. There's 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 a lot to it. For example, you don't sleep. You don't eat properly so all of these things an amalgamation of all of these things it just means that you're not a healthy person mm -hmm. also your well-being your mental well-being your emotional well-being is all skewed it's not working properly and so this is why this inflammation happens right. and um, what you said earlier about um, not eating oh. oh yes and cortisol yeah. oh my goodness and cortisol hormone yeah that's exactly what mm -hmm. it is it's a it's a poison to the body mm -hmm. um, cortisol and the thing is it's very hard for the body to flush itself of cortisol and what sometimes does happen with cortisol it attaches itself to certain parts of our body that are weaker um, so for example that might look like um, somebody might have quite um, a weak stomach so it, at it, it attacks the stomach or your back yeah or, or throat um, or your heart um, or your or, or blood uh, um, blood vessels and when you experience this over and over again mm. those parts of your body become weaker 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 and that's when the physical ailments you, know, you get this diagnosis like diabetes like um, UTIs heart attack cancer all of these mm. things stem from this and it's so sad so that was my next question what could we do about that do you know you yes, know eat course. healthy because i i always say eat, try yes. to eat healthy do exercise absolutely and meditate, you know anything that can help you your, your you are right well 100 percent. drink water as well so it flushes mm -hmm. from your system it's about um after you've had say that experience it's about calming your system isn't it so it's about flushing that from your system and making making that um basically you've got to get it out mm -hmm. and it's about calming your emotions mm -hmm. i think we talked about this in your previous video you know when we talked about anxiety yeah. and it's about all of those principles um, that we talked about in that video, apply them in this situation as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't watched that video, um, go and watch the previous one. You'll link it, won't you? Or you'll yes. link it in the description yes. box It'll below. Be down in the yeah. yeah. So yes, and well, regarding health, yeah, that's basically self-care. That's why I started this series. Yes. My oh, channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, every Friday I would put a video about self-care, like walking oh that's so amazing and you mentioned a lot nature so i said yes. walking in nature yes yes absolutely that's so helpful you are so helpful yeah. it does and it does you know it does help you a lot physically mentally and then mm. like and silly things like taking care of yourself uh, yeah. you know taking a bath or all that that's very important too yes and but yes. those are added to therapy to you know to what do you think about 
You have, Alina, you're 100%, you've taken the words out of my mouth. That's exactly it. It's about, do you know what? Like I always, yes, you have to think about this. And, and this is what I always say to my clients. If you're not going to look after yourself, well, who's going to do it for you? Who's going to look after you? You've got to do this for you. This is your birthright. Why should you be put back? Why should you be the second mm -hmm. important? No, you're first. You are number one. You're the, you're the most important person. So you have to look after yourself. If you don't do it, no one else will. And, and it's a mindset. You've got to make time for this. You've got to make time to look after yourself. Mm -hmm. Yoga, a breathing exercises, um, yeah. Pilates. All of these things, and the reason why going for walks in nature is so important mm -hmm. is because it, nature is calming. Oh, right. Green is the heart, is the heart chakra. Oh, it's, the calm, yeah. <laughs> it's the most calming. It's the most calming color. Um, do you do yoga? Too? I do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Not as much as I'd like to, but <laughs> that's that's why you know this year I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But yeah, yoga is amazing because if you think about it, there's certain postures in yoga. You're opening up your chakras, yeah. aren't you? You're opening mm -hmm. up, and also it's really good for um, joints as well when you have like stiff joints. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you live like in damp and cold countries, like in the UK, because it can get very it is it's quite damp. Yes. We do have a damp climate. Four here. degrees today, <laughs> and. Yes. Overcast. Oh, and oh, well, this is like this all year round. We don't get sunny days. No, sorry guys, we do. We do. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Um, I have to say. It is different. Yeah. I know it's not sunny. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yes, and that's what I mean. The different postures in yoga really help to flow as well. Um, blood flow. Um, you know your energy system, everything, and and it helps with digestion for that to flow. So it's 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 so good for everything. And, yeah, and when, when everything is functioning well, so are your emotions, so are you, so is your well-being. So there's so much, there's so much that you have control over that you can do to make your healing and you mm -hmm. feel better. Definitely. Yes. So regarding sleep deprivation and insomnia, mm. that's a big thing. And well, that's linked to this stress. Yes, and stress and anxiety. Anxiety. And PTSD as well. And PTSD. How could we deal with insomnia? It's really hard when you can't sleep, isn't it? I mean, it's one of the most annoying things, you know, like when you just oh. can't sleep. Oh, I could sleep during the day. I just, what can I do? And it, it's frustrating. And then, and then again, when you're frustrated, you get stressed with yourself. So it's just adding and adding and adding. And that's where more cortisol is produced because you're getting stressed. Um, that's where the stress and the anxiety is heightened. So again, you're adding and adding. And it's funny because when your body produces cortisol, that's when it stops you actually from sleeping because one major, major element of sleep, one hormone that we actually need is serotonin. But when you've got cortisol and anxiety or depression, your serotonin levels are it can, it, they're, they're um, problematic because sometimes in depression you can have too much mm -hmm. of serotonin and you sleep right. a lot and and in anxiety or PTSD you know you're, you don't sleep enough mm -hmm. but with anxiety and PTSD you're like we talked about earlier in this video you're on survival mode so you're always trying to survive so with PTSD and anxiety you're just reliving all the time you're reliving those stressful moments or um, those experiences that have happened to you like always alert always and, alert yeah. that's that's it you're always always alert and that makes it really difficult to sleep because your brain just doesn't switch off and that's basically the key, isn't it? That's basically the key here, is that your brain isn't switching off. Mm -hmm. So like we said already in your first video, and we mentioned it a little bit in this one, mm -hmm. um, it's, um, it's about routines. Mm -hmm. It's about feeling safe, creating a safe space. And when you create a safe space and comfort, um, that's when you can develop a routine. Right. Because you know what you can anticipate, and you know next. what comes next, right. and you feel safe in that. Mm -hmm. And especially with um, PTSD and CPTSD as well, it's about developing routines. So, like you said, taking a bath, um, being able to journal, write, mm -hmm. write it down. So it's about calming your emotions. So all of this, everything that we're saying about sleep, appetite, everything that's affected by stress and anxiety, it's about calming your emotions mm -hmm. and processing your emotions. Yeah. 
so you're just not constantly triggered and anxious mm. and upset all the time yeah. and then your body's not producing the cortisol because cortisol goes hand in hand with adrenaline because that's what survival survival mode is isn't it because you're constantly you've got you need to have that adrenaline to motivate you to escape that situation but if you're constantly in that situation you know all of that's going to get strained right. so your body needs to be able to um, return back to itself and it's that's called homeostasis it's got to return back to itself so that you function in a, in, a, in a normal way rather than in survival mode all the time and then your sleep will become better as well mm. definitely well, we have a lot of work to do <laughs> but it will happen it will yeah. it will get better yeah yes yes it does. absolutely it does get better it does get better in time, yeah. I promise you guys. It yes, really, yeah. really does. It takes a bit of work and it's really weird at first doing all these things, but over time, as you're doing them, again, with routine, you're doing it over and over again, you just get used to it. You, you just, that will just become second yeah. nature after mm -hmm. a while. And never think this is selfish because that's what we tend to think, like, oh, I'm taking so that's much care of point. myself. And I'm, I'm yeah. always, you know, now yes. what's happened to me, I'm like, I'm taking baths, I'm, <laughs> Do you yeah. know then? What about the rest? No. You have to do this in order to feel better and yeah. to be there for other people. Sure. Right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And for yourself. Mainly. Mainly. <laughs> Mainly. For yourself. Yes. Yeah. So I'm loving this series with Anushka and I'm so happy to be here and we will continue with our next video now. But for now it's goodbye. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>